Now, friends, uh, let's say this problem, a problem based on time and work. Uh, P, Q, and R begin to finish a work uh, together. P is twice as efficient as Q, and R is two thirds as efficient as Q. Now, P leaves after two days, while Q leaves after four days. How many days will R further take to finish up the work if Q alone can finish the work in 16 days? Now, pretty simple problem. A uh, lot many problems uh, like this we have already discussed in our uh, previous sessions. So, and um, obviously there is no need of paper and pen to solve this problem. Just listen to me carefully. See, capacity of Q is 16 days. That means Q all alone can finish up the work in 16 days. And P is twice as efficient. That means he'll be taking half of the days taken by Q. That means P will be taking 8 days. Right? So, that's P, Q, and R. Q 16, P 8. Now, R is two-third efficient as Q. That means R will be taking 3 by 2 time, uh, 3 by 2 number of days than Q is taking. Because efficiency is 2 by 3, that means number of days will be 3 by 2 of Q. Right? So, 3 by 2 of Q will be 24 days. Now, what is happening? P leaves after 2 days. Right? See, P, Q and R, all of them are starting together. Right? So, from the very first day, uh, we are calculating, but uh, initially we take the calculation for P. So, P is doing, uh, P is leaving after two days. That means he must have done 25% of the work because his capacity is to complete the entire work in eight days. That means in two days, he might have done 25% of the work. Similarly, Q leaves after four days. That means Q might have done 25% of the work because his capacity is 16 days. Now, 50% work is being done by P and Q. Now, the remaining 50% work has to be done by R, right? Now, R is also starting from the day one. So, now R takes 24 days to finish up the work. That means to do 50% uh, of the work, he'll be taking 12 days, right? So, four days with P and Q, P or Q and remaining eight days all alone. That means after leaving Q, it will take eight more days for R to finish up the work, right? So that's pretty simple problem. I hope you might have understood the concept behind it and uh, you might have observed that hardly any paperwork is required. Whatever the data I have written over here is for just reference uh, for you. Otherwise, there is no need. Okay, you can keep the data in even your mind. Okay.